We all go a little mad sometimes. Be afraid. Be very afraid. They're here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I'm Lee, and I want to be in a sequel. And I'm Nathan, and I'd rather be killed off because fuck any sequels after this movie, for sure. Grow up! <laughs> and you're listening to... They're Here! Here. Podcast. A discussion. Dissection. Of all things horror. Fear. And a cock. You didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is V-Day. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Darling. <laughs> well, when you guys are listening to this, it'll be Valentine's Day. Um, watching this last what night. I do that was on Christian. Why do we have to do this? <laughs> <laughs> no, watching this last night, I was like, oh shit, all of these dates line up because we were watching on the day uh-huh. in universe the first attacks now start happening. Oh yeah, that's technically like, how yeah, so that cool. works. Yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. that's so cool because no. yeah, we're living out the same weekend. As, as, as all these kids, yeah. yeah. I always love when shit like that happens. Um, so we're doing uh, My uh, Bloody Valentine, 1981, the original. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This film was whew, a little convoluted at times, a little confusing in places, a little raw <laughs> in other places. If you pay too much attention to it, I think it's easy enough to turn your brain off. Yeah. If you're not like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if you didn't have to, like, analyze this. And we have a villain who likes to set dress. We have a villain who's basically John Lithgow in Footloose, where he's like, <laughs> I don't want dancing. <laughs> not that he doesn't want Valentine's. He doesn't want, not want people going in the mines. The entire <laughs> MO is, I don't want another Valentine's Day dance. Yeah. Okay, Dad, like, chill out. That's just, like, the, you know. Level of unprofessionalism. Far too much. Just we can't we we, we 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 do not accept nor do we condone dances during Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the side of the killer at this point. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I yeah. fucking love this movie. Oh, I shit. It's yeah. what I want. For, it's what I want from a Friday the Thirteenth movie. It's not boring yeah. in the same way I think Friday is. I, I have to agree because, uh, and this is where I'll tell you, you're wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, I have to agree because, like, I have not seen this film in years. Yeah, same, years. same. I think I saw this when I was, like, 15 oh, or like, something like that. Uh, like, yeah, I, I would say, like, me even younger. I saw that when I was, like, maybe 12, 11. And, like, it's been way too long since I've seen this film. And I still enjoyed it. Found some parts boring at times, to be fair. Oh, I um, don't know. But I, I, I did. I enjoyed this film. Uh, I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10. I'll go, like, an 8, 8.5 or something. Because it kind of has, the kills. like... For the kills, but also like it has was so like <laughs> it has like some weird kind of Jaws energy, some kind of Jaws. It does actually, um, yeah, because it's like townspeople, it's like local color and stuff like that. Where mm-hmm. I feel like color, what? you know what I mean? Well, actually, no, lack <laughs> thereof. Color. This is Canada, baby. This is the Great White North. A and boot? it shows. Okay, it's <laughs> so okay. Yeah, just before we like really like dive in, something about Canadian horror, um, at least like in this era, it's uh-huh. like. It's like slasher. Well, actually, no, I lie. Like Black Christmas is a Canadian horror movie. You know? Yeah, but where uh, Black it's like Christmas slasher light does it uh, successfully? I think this film fails at that. See, I think this is like a weird continuation because obviously, like, um, I think we go like Psycho, Black Christmas, Halloween, and then kind of your Fridays and your uh, Nightmare. Yeah, this is like a spiritual stuff. kind of successors to. Like yeah, the kind so. of holiday horror movies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I think like, like what was it was yeah, Black Christmas started that off the mm-hmm. the kind of holiday thing, and we have like April Fool's Day and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's something about like a Canadian horror movie where I'm like, this is so pure. You know? <laughs> Everybody on here like totally they wanted could do to be no on wrong. set. Exactly. Everybody wanted to be on set. You know, it yeah. like took some encouragement to like curse or whatever. You know. <laughs> Like, everybody is so nice. Oh, my God. But, like, no, I actually really, really like this cast. I think everybody, like, works really well together. And, like, they're, Absolutely. they're entertaining. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You do. So, it was directed by George Mihalka. <clears throat> and uh, it was written by Stephen Miller. So, for context, 1980s was this, you know, we were still looking at this whole 
at the hall. <laughs> <laughs> we were <laughs> every day of my life. It's all I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking at this uh, sort of it's still the very much the era of uh what you call it um like exploitation and things like that like we like, like this, this is basically the 70s yeah everything is brown there's like that kind of wash over it mm-hmm. yeah. everything that is dark is pitch black yeah in in a weird way um but this opening scene this opening kill rather is very much i literally have it in my notes as what did i say here sensual fetish love making opening oh it's a lot <laughs> she's like like there's no talking or anything she's just kind of uh, and he's like <laughs> yeah because at first it's just two minors um you know and i would at least hope that they would be adults yes you know? Minor 49ers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 69ers. But um, lots of minors in this movie, you know. Yeah. Oh, Heather, I like to get a drink. But um, <laughs> yeah, there's like two minors like walking down into the mine. Of all mines, you pick to come into to mine. You pick the mine, which is mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's that RuPaul's gift from SNL. Ah, we meet again. But um. <laughs> so they're walking down or whatever like that and it's like kind of like sexy I guess and she's like naked and she's got like kind of a, a bride of Chucky like little love heart tattoo uh-huh. on her tit but like when he just like slams her up against this pipe thing coming out of the wall yeah um, but the way it happens it's so good that's one thing I will give is like the, the kills in this after are done being well. restored are great because mm-hmm. the theatrical cut of this there is no blood there's yeah. no gore. We get to see the bodies after the fact for a couple of seconds and that's it. The MPAA really, really, really shredded this movie apart. Yeah. You know? But we gotta say that uh, the kills, I think I we've said this, oh, we've said this loads of times, like the practicality usage, uh, you know, real effects on screen. Yeah. Like, especially like that opening kill <clears throat> when they he like like was he's like set off by like the tattoo basically yeah and like he ends up like (gasps) and then like rages out and practically comes all over as he pushes her up against this pipe thing there's a lot of heavy breathing yeah but the way it happens it like pushes out through her yeah, chest you can like through see the, the protrusion first yeah. and then like, you can see the skin stretch and then like snap over yeah. it. it's so good yeah. um, but again like we didn't get a lot of this in the theatrical cut and it feels so bad it's like that's the entire like give of this movie it's yeah. the entire pull yeah. but all the practicals in this are kind of excellent yeah. I, I can't think of anyone where I was like that looks so goofy and phony you know, I think maybe the eyeball with the the bar yeah. taker later, but they only show that for a second. Yeah, you know, but um, yeah, so like kind of time jump. You know, do you want to go kind of scene by scene real quick? Kinda... The the actual like title, like opening title. Oh, we love thing. That. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yes. it's great. It's, it's very. On the, it's on the story. If you guys it's look at so eighties. It. It's brilliant. It's so eighties. It's so eighties, but it's also so Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Really like <laughs> splatter, and then just my buddy Valentine. But um, so we kind of we just we gotta give it props to you, Mama. Props so we to you. Jump like twenty years. Um, I don't think it kind of benefits to go scene by scene for this. No, you know, no. we just gotta. Uh, yeah, they actually the one thing I was saying is I've said this before. I actually said this with Lawson's episode. I said <laughs> sensual fetish <laughs> love making opening question mark. <laughs> In bigger font than every it's, other it's thing. title. Uh, I said, I, I literally wrote my notes. What kind of white people barbecue cookout music race back to fuck their wives in a small town America before Valentine's Day kind of thing is this? There's like, more than one harmonica solo in this movie. Right? For real. And there's a harmonica <laughs> duet. Kind of. They like get into it together. He just they, pulls this harmonica out of his tip pocket. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they have this thing where like it's sort of very obviously Canadian but like they sort of never kind of it comes across as like middle town America kind of vibe you know what I'm saying oh it is it's very much so like a mining town like Czech there's, there's during else around the night time <laughs> unless you eat cigarettes <laughs> yeah there's lots of flannel lots of uh, lots of rib knits you know lots of tights <laughs> lots of boots <laughs> You know, a boot. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, like this movie is like kind of cozy or something. Though, like it's real kind yeah. of fuzzy and warm and Canadian. You know, <laughs> so like there. But also, I want to get into the cast. There is a lot of people here. A and lot. Not a lot dying. Not a lot actually dying. No, I think a all the kills are memorable, though. 
six, maybe seven kills. Yeah. In total? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, wait, I'm going to go through the... Because, like, you have... Yeah, there's about six kills, seven we'll the kills. Couple. Harriet has an Oster Cherry yet. Darn uh, it. And, okay, yeah, we'll get to them when we get to them, you know? Yeah. I'm not about to, like, read you off this, like, 30-person cast list. <laughs> you know? The one thing I actually have a really kind of, like, burdening question about this film is... It, like because I actually forgot about spoiler there's a twist at the end as to who the killer actually is but you have Harry Warden who is a supposedly cannibal. a cannibal and escaped from a mental institution Yeah, and I literally wrote how if he was committed we don't have any records of him any of this going on how did he go about buying all the heart boxes Back then, though. Yeah, but that's what I was looking in at. In 61. Yeah. The year afterwards. Yeah. I, because if he was committed... I'm, how like, did Michael Myers get his mask around? and knife? Like, what, well, how is he going around and, like... The same way anybody else would. <laughs> what the fuck kind of question is that? I don't know. Yeah, he's a criminal. How could he buy things? <laughs> you know? Michael but also, also like... didn't stand in, in the queue for a rope and a knife and a mask. <laughs> You know, I don't think Jason was standing in being cute in the machete aisle. Okay. You know? Okay. I also, get Also, this place is Valentine Bluffs. What an annoying name. But like, not Valentine's Bluff, Valentine Bluff. I actually but, um, have that as a note. This is like, it's like Halloween Town. It's like Valentine's Day is this town's whole thing. You know, and so it's just kind of there. That's what I was saying to you. I actually said that is like Valentine's Day is kind of their mo. It's their it's their it's their, it's their Christmas, right? And no joke, <laughs> I actually think that like Valentine's Day is kind of a good one if you want to get a horror movie based around it because it's not like it's like per like it's like relationship based. It's like personal. It's not like a like a celebration of. Something genuine cute. generality and you know what I mean yeah, I yeah, think yeah. like it's it's a good one if you want to set like it's a good one to have like an MO for like jealousy or like rage or love or yeah. like heartbreak any of that kind of stuff yeah um, I think there's only a, like Valentine that movie that came out in like 98 99 with like Denise Richards and Marty Shelton and stuff that's yeah. kind of about Valentine's Day you know which is also good I think that's like a Cupid killer or whatever like that he's got like a stupid little Cupid mask on I don't know like I thought that was kind of thing that was very 2000s though very scream yeah very that um, so like get into this whole Harry Warden uh, like his his thing they call it a, what is it a, a, a legend or like dude it's, yeah. it happened 20 like, years 20 years before. ago imagine <laughs> seriously if somebody talked about like 9-11 as if like it was a mythical happening <laughs> Like, like it didn't only happen like right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm on 9-11 and we don't have any parties. But seriously, all these people would have been like <laughs> alive like at the time, you know? Yeah. Like none of these people are under 20, I fucking guarantee it. Like, and also like the uh, the bartender is like totally that like... Crazy Ralph, Friday 13th. Yeah, right. It's got a death curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't be having no parties <laughs> on, on, on Valentine's. Why am I? Oh, I was gonna say, why are you what? suddenly like, yeah, <laughs> Miss Bronx over here? But um, also, yeah. all of these people's parents and shit would have been like, oh yeah, that's that totally happened. Like, it's not a fucking legend. <laughs> yeah, all. it happened. Like, like all these people are from this town. All these people grew up in this town. They work in the mine where it literally happened. Yeah, you know, they would yeah. see like where the fucking cave gate or the where the fucking mine caved in. <laughs> well, so basically, like his his kind of thing was that like there was a methane gas explosion. And he was like buried alive for a few days with a few other like minor forty nine ers. Four other guys, but all of these like... guys wanted to rush out because there was a Valentine's dance on. Yeah, they wanted to get out there, <laughs> and do their little jazz, do their little, do their little swing or whatever. But like he was down there for what? Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah, which is a very long time. I'm like, it, it is a be, very it long time. It can't be time. that fucking deep, <laughs> you know. But then the shot of when they find him, the shot of when, like he's where like they push him, and he's literally like. <gasps> <laughs> literally it's yeah he's literally chewing on an arm or whatever yeah. um and they find him and then that's kind of the yeah. last we see of harry warden yeah you know <laughs> my, my thing would be we know he checked into like a mental ward and shit after that but like, that's warden. kind of the last time we see him for real spoiler alert <laughs> but my thing would be and he is like a huge kind of plot device in this like it's not like they never mention him again like yeah. we're supposed to be under the impression that he is the killer the entire time yeah um but also the guy who played Harry Warden also does play 
the killer like in costume in costume yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. yeah but um also the lead paul kelman who played tj literally died like two weeks ago oh shit yeah january 30th oh, damn yeah this movie has actually kind of been everywhere obviously because it's valentine's day but like for some reason i think the last year people are really in a slasher mood yeah like now it's like new halloween new scream all that kind of stuff i think people are really kind of i think slashers are like on the on the rise again you know modern day slashers I, I'm willing to give it a go as long as they just don't fall into that rut of trying to rehash what has been done that proves that has been a proven success. Yeah. But just rehash that and I'd be terribly disappointed if they go down that route. Oh, you can't. Like that's the thing. It's like a, <clears throat> it's a completely different world. It's like we have you have to find ways to write phones out or to write Wi Fi out or mm. whatever, you know? Um I don't know. I'm curious. Like now that we have like a spoiler alert for next week, we have the new Texas Chainsaw. I'm curious to see how they do that. For um... <laughs> I just every time I hear Texas Chainsaw, I just keep thinking of that one photograph of his head like popping up out and of the sunflowers. sunflowers uh, just like hello. It's, uh, it looks like a scarecrow. I think he looks like um the scarecrow <clears throat> from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Oh yeah, he actually looks exactly like that. Mm. I'm hoping that that's not like the mask we got throughout the whole movie because mm. I think it looks kind of dumb. You make one move, pal, and you're cancelled. People do talk like that. <laughs> I swear so to God. stupid. But that's the point, Oh, you know? it's cringy, We're man. not supposed to be like, yeah! Cancel Leatherface, bitch. <laughs> now, wait until you see what I'm going to write about you on my blog. <laughs> you know? So I know that, um, like, basically, Harry Warden uh, Look just the picture go... they have for Harry Warden. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like a zombie. Oh my god! He basically like goes on this rampage and like kills cops or whatever. And Two. like he, yeah, I, I literally, I was like, he no, attacks he the, the lads other... and rips out there. He kills the other two miners that close the mine down early and send everybody home without oh, checking yeah. the methane levels. It's true, you know. Um, yeah, it all it all ties up, kind of. It's kind of convoluted. Because oh, in my yeah. mind, okay, can we just like spoil the actual? Yeah, yeah, just go for it. So yeah, yeah. Axel is the. I mean, this is like literally the first mention of any of the group that we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just kind of get into it. So TJ yeah. is our main character, kind of. TJ, he's kind of our main character. He comes back from the West, not California, the West of Canada. Um, <laughs> the West. <laughs> but yeah, there was a whole thing in the eighties and seventies about like go west, where it was like go and go and, west. But seriously, instead of being like a minor, you would go and be like a lumberjack or some shit like that. Yeah, you know. But it's like I don't you know, know, real straight man, man shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> manly man we are the manly man <laughs> oh, and that's the thing that's why like human chair of the week this week is like um i do have one picked but like it was a hard one yeah you know everybody oh, this is like very beautiful go on it's um it's uh what's his fucking name again hollis who's hollis the fucking like um him the yeah. biggest mustache in the movie. Oh god, the guy that gets the nail gun. The narwhal. Ah, oh. <laughs> not the narwhal. The um, the guy who gets the nail gun like three times. Yeah, I love what happens, and he's literally like, "Oh, it's human <laughs> chair of the week time." For real. I want this big man to crush me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, seriously, he like sticks out. I think he's kind of my favorite character in the movie because like everybody else is kind of generic-ish. All the guys have like, brown hair. All I'm the guessing hair. the one guy, the one moment that really kind of said it was when he grabbed the other two. Oh my god, he picked him up and threw him away. <laughs> <laughs> he threw him away. Walrus, that's the word I'm thinking of. Walrus, yeah. Not yeah, because yeah. he's big, but because of the mustache. The this mustache, mustache is it's like a handlebar. It's unusually and a large. Yeah. It's like a 1920s like muscle man mustache. Like, it's like it's, waxed it's up at the end. It's so big it's falling and curling over. It's yeah. gorgeous. And I think I him I don't know why, but him and his girlfriend's relationship I thought was like adorable. You know, yeah. like he'd pick her up and all that kind of stuff. Thought it was cute. Yeah. Also, one of the other guys when his girlfriend runs it, it's the chick who gets like speared. He picks her up by the head like this, and gives <laughs> <Yeah. her. laughs> which I also think is a red herring. They do throw out a lot of like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna go off and do this. Like that every guy, once in a while, people will separate from the group. We don't know where they are. I think it's because I've also seen like the you know the remake with uh, that guy from Supernatural, Jensen Ackles. That guy, yeah, it's bad. 
it is bad but like because i'd seen that more recently and then watch this again you know the guy um who like has just come back that's him that's what i mean so like every single time he appeared on screen oh. was not when in. so i was like in my head the whole time i was like oh it's him, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what i mean and it wasn't it was axel who threw his minor hat down the 60 foot water shaft i also fully love at that point he's like leave him it's weak you know nothing we can do from now but i like i remember watching that and kind of i remember it being like he fell from a height down into yeah, water like yeah. no he's literally he's right li- there yeah they could have just reached just, he's yeah. like it's 60 foot deep i can't do shit now <laughs> but again i think that's kind of we're at the end we're supposed to be like is it axel is it tj yeah like it really is that you know yeah and um tj that's his name yeah to be honest they do and uh, tj tom uh, hanniger is the um son of the mine owner so like it's his yeah like his family's mine or whatever like that yeah. you know but um yeah he like went out west to go and try and make it or whatever but apparently he just like picked up and left didn't tell anybody kind of abandoned his girlfriend and then when he came back to everything his girlfriend um sylvia no it's not sylvia it's fucking what's her fucking name it's fucking <laughs> sarah, sarah palmer <gasps> that's laura palmer's mom's name in twin peaks <laughs> <laughs> i'm but, um, beginning to see connections <laughs> when sarah came back or when he came back sarah was with axel so there's like this kind of weird dynamic going on you know it's there's a tension also a couple of times in this movie where her hair is in braids and then it isn't in braids and then it's in braids again yeah you know like you can tell they shot them like a week apart or something because you can't just take your hair out of braids and have it be straight again <laughs> your hair is crimped to bits <laughs> also i love her oh my god this girl is stunning she's so pretty that yeah like when she has her hair straight like you can tell there was a blow dry the there 70s was blowout like everything. it's it's fully like she was like i want i will not cut it out of my trailer until my makeup is perfect and my hair is perfect give me the coiffed. charlie's angels I want that shit. Yeah. <laughs> the hair like comes out, it's coiffed and it's like down to her ass. I noticed when she had the braids in, I was like, the braids are down like to her hips. They're uh-huh. so long. Yeah. But um, enough about fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to talk about Maybell. Let's talk about Maybell. Oh, poor sweet Maybell. Oh, like. <laughs> so like Maybell is one of the, she's not a survivor. She just, she was a person who was around at the time of Harry Gordon. Dance. Yeah, exactly. She was around and like, basically it's just like, she didn't do anything, but it's like just guilt by association. Yeah. So like, that's why Axel goes after her at the very beginning. Cause he does this thing in the boxes where he writes a note, goes one down, two to go. Or then oh, he's the like, rhyming. The rhyming. Oh, oh it's one of those, like it happened once, it happened twice. If you have this dance, it'll happen thrice. Oh God, it's so like, stupid. Don't use the word thrice. <laughs> don't if you use whence or whilst i will punch you in your taint for real <laughs> now whilst i was watching this <laughs> or whom whom for whom the bell told yeah. <laughs> so madame maybell's laundrette little <laughs> like her little oh, yeah. her her little scene uh, was just like can you walk into this thing and say valentine's day without saying it's valentine's day the building is painted red <laughs> Also, laundrette is spelled incorrectly on the sign. L a u n d r e t t e. It's like laundriette. Oh god! Yeah, it is an extra t also. But um, this lady is so sweet. She, she really gives me is. Kind of she's Lin she's yeah, kind of like, Lin Shea. That's what I yeah. was thinking. Yeah. But her whole thing, she's kind of the main driving force behind getting another dance happening because yeah. again, it's Valentine bluffs. And yeah, they were kids were like, like a, saying like they put a lot of. Uh, like she put a lot of effort like I after she, she bites really. it she hung up some hearts but like yeah. still it was her idea you know? yeah, yeah 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 but she also did paint her business red <laughs> no joke though last night I was like fuck I never wanted a red house before until seeing this you know <laughs> which I guess can kind of skew towards barn but um like this laundrette <laughs> is like a forest of pink and red streamers uh, like hearts on everything. It's cute. It's it's cute, but like holy fuck! If it's I one wa- day. if I walked in there, I would have been like, oh, just for someone, a Valentine's Day. This just was a lot of Val- effort for kissing. Yeah, for, right, <laughs> right. You know, we can't just oh, make out any other day. Like even if I really liked Valentine's Day, it's only one day. I would like, not go through that much effort. 
Yeah. Holy I don't know hell. anybody that decorates their house for Valentine's Day. Like, it's, yeah. it's really not... Maybe, like, some rose petals on your bed or whatever, but that's not, like, for the public, you know? <laughs> but, like, oh, my God. Our, this, this is... Hill this is, is the best. So the best one. Brutal. In my opinion. It, it's the most, like, <gasps> oh, my God. Mm. And they show it for so long. They yeah. show her, like, cooked titties. Her... <laughs> her AF titties. <laughs> this lady is a fried chicken at the end. Oh, God. She is a Canadian fried chicken. Oh, Jesus. Gross. Gross. I... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Gross. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> God, Sarah, I'm so damn sorry. <laughs> eh? but, uh, this literally should have been called My Bloody Valentine, eh? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my beauty valentine or it should have been called like be mine oh my no that's cool no that's better yeah <laughs> so like or your mine or something like that oh hey, you're mine <laughs> well, that's not oh, oh, no but i actually did notice all of these people i'm i guarantee at least half this cast have both irish parents oh all yeah these people have a really weird twang to their uh-huh. voice where it's not just canadian it's very like first generation canadian catholic yeah you know a lot of foreskin on this set <laughs> so like i was um <laughs> like going through that and it didn't click until much later on because the sheriff receives a box of chocolates who he thinks is like so it's excited. another heart it's the mayor yeah oh, the, the mayor yeah, Which yeah. Is also tj's dad they don't really play that up in this movie at yeah all. It's basically like he receives a, a box and he thinks obviously like it's another person's heart or whatever. Yeah. And like we're actually believed that it could be Maybell's, but it's not. It actually is a box of chocolates and it's from her. And like no, in the thing. this is much later. Yeah, I know, I know. But like this is the connection that I was first making. That heart is, um, is the chick with the heart tattoo. It's not Maybell. No, I know that. I'm just trying to make the connection that, uh-huh. that why she says the mayor's name oh, yeah, and the thing so because cute. she thinks it's him. Yeah. And the reason why she thinks it's him is because she sent chocolates to him. Yeah. So he thought, she thought that he was there with her and we're like, oh no. I'm like, oh, this sweet poor older lady. But uh, I'm like, it's the 80s. I'm like, the Golden Girls were all in their 50s. This lady's probably like 42. <laughs> you know, at best. I thought like, seriously, Betty White was the oldest on that cast yeah even older than Sophia who mm. plays the, the older one mom. yeah <laughs> and like and she she's just she's just mince meated she gets you know thrown around she just gets oh. battered for a while and then like obviously she, like he rips out her heart or whatever but like I literally have the note where where have I got it where have I, I got just it the chest, not Maybell's corpse in the dryer whatever will I do, with, do now with my linen sheets <laughs> oh whatever will I do oh this practical this dummy that they have it was so good so because her eyes are like boiled white like she's yeah. been cooked but also she's just been like rotisserie chicken all over the place <laughs> so they find her she's just like because she, she's not burnt in the sense that she's like charred she's like been boiled or steamed it's but, fucking crazy and yeah. her tits are out her like Kentucky fried breasts are out. Yeah, because like in one of those like large industrial tumble dryers, there is an open fire in the back of yeah. the machine, and it's only covered by a very light wall of metal. Yeah. So literally, like she would have been like the bitch would have been toasted. rolling around in there, toasted, perfectly cooked though. Oh, she's the good though. She would have smelled perfectly good. even if you cut it open just a little pink. Yeah, yeah, inside, just a know? little bit, smidge. Loved it. <laughs> Do I look upset too? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fried dead bitch to me <laughs> I loved it and like and like what that's about less than 20 minutes in and that's like the best kill yeah I'd say it's like 20 minutes I mean, there's still there's still some pretty good kills in this but that to me I even sent you them as shows like that was the kill yeah that was it right there there's a couple in this that like um, like so we both watched the like kind of uncut like director's cut of this just because yeah. I feel like that's like what the fuck would be the point of watching it with all the gore cut out mm-hmm. um but there's one later with the two virgins um when yes. they meet up there yeah. there was a scene filmed for that but the celluloid just doesn't exist anymore so mm-hmm. we weren't able to like splice it back in but i feel like it's almost more disturbing to just find them you yes know? it kind of gave me I, I, don't, I don't know why but it gave me like kind of kenny and darla jeepers creepers yeah. some kind of vibe like it's all kind of like lovers lane like all that kind of shit but they find them and they're just like skewered with like i don't even know how it happened they're like <laughs> skewered with a gigantic like like drill like a like an industrial drill but also her on the bottom harriet who hasn't lost her chariot 
um, is smiling. Like, her corpse is like... <laughs> yeah, but I got dicked out first. <laughs> I, I didn't die of her chin. It's such a weird term. It sounds so violent. Oh, I literally have to know, like, could these guys try not to sound so Canadian? I'm like, you have universal health care. I'm like, shut up. Sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. It's just there's several times because they have this, like, little scene where um the guy, like, literally one of the first ones with the, the harmonica. And, like, they're in the background Excellent. saying, like, what are we going to do? And how's this going to work? And, like, you just keep hearing that, like, Canadian. <laughs> I'm sorry to any Canadians listening, but oh gosh, did they try to sort of hide it and it just oh gosh. didn't work. So damn sorry. So damn sorry. <laughs> it's just, no, I'm, I'm not doing it. I think it's cute, but this scene is weird. Okay, So we get like a couple of bar scenes in this and they're all kind of cute, but like they mainly all consist of the bartender being like, you fucking kids, don't fucking right? go there. Even though like he literally should have been like, Y'all, like, it's a bad idea. Just don't go to the mines. Y'all can party here. Yeah, can we actually talk about that real quick? Like, these... The decision for them... Now, first of all, actually, come to think of it, when they said the mine... I know what you're going to say as well. Like, I literally have a message. Can we just talk about that real quick? Because, like, the decision... they, They didn't actually say that they were going down the mine, but they did say go to the mine for the party. So here's me, like, are they fucking, like, chilling down in the fucking dank in the dark? Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? I always remember I didn't this as realize in the bare, like, mine tunnels. But yeah. Like a rec room. But they have a like, rec room yeah. above ground, and I was like, oh, that makes They're sense. They're chilling near the mine. Not near like, the mine, not in the mine. But they all have this idea, which I can't, like, you would if you're drunk or whatever. It's like, oh, fuck it. It's basically a roller coaster on the, yeah. the, the, the ro- like, the mine. Yeah. Uh, sleds, I guess. Um, carriages? Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's like a car. It's like you, where you put, like, your pickaxes and rocks and shit and yeah. everything and you move them along in the tunnels. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like what you did, it used to carry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But they say it's 2,000 feet down. Like, fuck that's, that. That's scary to me. A lot. But also, like, 2,000 feet, I feel like... I don't think you can go down there without equipment on. They're all just like walking no. around. I'm like, there's no like the only the one person. Would be different. Yeah, like the the only one person that's like wearing it is the ones who actually work down in the mines, and they're the ones that are wearing the actual like like yeah. safety helmet. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they're like no women in the mine. Yeah, no, yeah, no women in the. Did you catch that? I was like, <laughs> yeah. wait, what? <laughs> like, like, like a little bit going home about it. Where they're like, you know, you know, or no, uh, you know, no women, women, no women in the mine, no women. They're like, yeah, but- today, Satan. No like, women. Yeah, but like we ain't got shit else to do. Also, I do fully get where they go to the mine though, because like this town, there's nothing around. There's like this one bar, the places where they live, and the mine. Yeah, like it's just a mining town, but it's also on the coast, right? Like where are they mining into if they're like right by the ocean, right by the beach? Yeah, because yeah, like real. there's a scene where, which I always thought was hilarious, uh, where your one is walking home on her own, and then the guy you think it's the killer, what's oh, creepy? But it's he, he's got the flashlight, he just flashes it in it's her face. Sheriff. And it's, yeah, it's the sheriff. So she walks back to her house, which basically looks like, you know, like the Sandy Mount Strand. You it, know what I mean? It's, on it's literally the on the beach. Yeah. Like, where was this shot? The fucking east coast of In Toronto? Canada, though. It's actually um, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing was, the only other scene outside of this town, Valentine's Bluffs, which is stupid. It's too uh, much work for my mouth to work r- around. Right, yeah. right. Um, is the scene where uh, the sheriff is ringing to confirm that uh, I was about to say Dick Halloran. <laughs> 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 for whatever reason, Harry Warden is uh, still in the asylum. The asylum uh, in custody, basically. And the lady on the other end of the line is like, she's really acting. She oh my god! I for, like, she's literally, side card so I, hard. I literally have this note. I was like, if he was committed, we don't have records of him. What the fuck, woman? And she just give a I fuck. Call, bitch, and she hangs the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. She is so. She gives so much attitude. I love it. Oh, it's hilarious. I fucking love her. Like she gives me um uh like uh, the type of nurse that like sits there chain smoking cigarettes and has School whiskey un- yeah like whiskey hidden underneath the desk and she's just taking shot after shot every hour on the hour like just that you, you know, know or Ross me? from the, Monsters uh, Inc <laughs> my <goodness. laughs> oh my god Miss Mara looked she, like, exactly like her but um oh my god. she gave me Edie McClure she's the <laughs> 
<laughs> she's the the receptionist in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yes, she yeah. Very much so, kind of gave me that. Oh, I love that movie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's so good. She's Actually, got all the pencils and shit. In yeah. Her hair. She like erases the thing out and then like like snips it. <laughs> Quite the royal dude. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so they basically have this decision. Now again, like it's sort of pushed back because of uh like they sort of like kind of like quietly put it under the rug where like, she died of a heart attack. She died of a heart She's attack. Literally a boiled <laughs> corpse. <laughs> Like when he walks in, he's like he can smell it before yeah. he finds her. Yeah, know? I wonder if it's the laundry machine that's filled with blood. <laughs> also, uh, what a creep! He just pulls out other people's laundry and starts smelling it. <laughs> just so. But like, can you only imagine what that smell must have been like? Fried corpse. I think yeah. like it would smell a little bit like. I think once burnt hair gets out of the way, I think it would smell like pork. <laughs> human meat tastes like pork I've heard <laughs> <Sorry to tell. laughs> well I mean Diego Rivera definitely ate uh, human meat before that was that was interesting I would eat my own meat I literally have this as a note <laughs> party down a mine shaft what the fuck you are all morons <laughs> oh, it, it'd be fun that, I mean like Nathan we used to drink on, underneath the boardwalk that yeah, was really you see, infested with rats yeah, you see, this is this is the thing where I, like, look back and I, like, look at all the questionable decisions we made. Like, we used to sit by active trainways and, like, we would drink. We would start fires all the time. Get the canal down to uh, Roman baths. Oh, my God. Swam in, like, shit-infested rivers. Like, you know. Shit-infested. <laughs> we get in there and it's, like, it's like not fish. Yeah, they're like the Shit. Mennonites. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit instead of fish. <laughs> and you have, um, like, we would swing off of, like, you know... The swing. The swing. I actually which never 20 did the feet swing. into the air. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I never did the swing. Yeah, that's great crack. Uh, if you were there, you know what we're talking about. Um, none of you will know what we're talking about. <laughs> I actually always wanted to know how many of the original swing crew know that me, Emma, and Ashton went back there and just completely rebuilt that place. Because he didn't tell anybody. You know, you, you and Ryan me, actually yeah. discovered it, though. Yeah. You know? Oh, that was cool. Little pentagram table, little tarp, like, village and everything. It was great. I love this uh, little thing that your man does. He's, like, some drunken miner, or maybe he's, like, a security guard or something. Cause, like, he... No, it's the bartender. It's the bartender? Yeah, he goes Why is he dressed him. as a miner? I don't know. He's not dressed as a miner. He's he got is. A hat on. He's got a onesie, and he's got the pickaxe. Yeah, to make... The Harry Warden prank. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically, like, I, I literally have this as a... It's a great trick, uh, but the treat's on you, old man. Eyeballs for dinner, oh my methinks. God, that is so tacky. <laughs> but the treat's on you, old man. <laughs> I love it, though, how enthused he is by his own joke. He uh, literally again and again and again. made, like, an actual <laughs> striking dummy and is cackling like a mad woman. It's, it's crazy. Cool, it's great. It's a great idea, though, also, because he's, like... He, like they, they but within seconds... Evil. Within seconds, yeah. the killer has like yanked everything yeah. out of the way and like struck him in the face. It's an it's an uppercut like through the chin, yeah. through the chin up out through the eye socket I with the eye it. just hanging out. It's so Great good. Kill. And then he is. Uh, we actually find this body in our next kill. Where yes, oh that's Sylvia. That Sylvia is the one that dies this time. Yeah, she's um. She's with the non-brown-haired but ginger-haired guy. That's how I can distinguish With that him. leather waistcoat thing. Yeah, the yeah, really yeah, tall yeah. guy. Um, the guy who's like, I'm getting lucky. Yeah, they're all like... Like, it is. It's very cute. Like, I don't feel like any of these relationships seem very forced or kind of like... No. Like, acting. Everybody seems like they know each other. Mm -hmm. I, I almost guarantee this is the kind of set where, like... They all just hung out the whole time? Yeah, this is the type of thing where I get the uh, thing, like, if it wasn't going to be there, it would be a little house party for all of them. But that's and only like, this crowd would be invited, like, no one else. You know and what that's I mean? what makes me think, like, the ages in this are kind of uh, odd, because I'm like, do any of these people live anywhere? Mm. You know? Like, because yeah. they're not high school students, but they're, like, they're obviously older than that. But I'm like, where the fuck do people live? You know? Yeah, like, it seems like there might house. be four houses, a supermarket, a laundrette, the police station, the and mine. the mine. 
Yeah. That's but literally, that's really like, go to your house. Yeah. Go to anybody's house, you know, or hang out at the, there's a scene at a junkyard where they're all hanging out. <laughs> Wallace or Hollis is frying <laughs> Wallace. turkey on his car battery, you know? <laughs> what think, kind of country, bumpkin? Oh, it's so creepy. And then we're just like, oh, I wanted beef. And he's like, oh, it's turkey for the turkey protein parade, guys. Hey. <laughs> you know, but the like. The whole time, though. The whole time. The, the whole time. time. Um, <laughs> she used to scare me in that scene, no joke. Like the way her, like, it was almost Dilophosaurus esque, where the, like, the shape on her throat. Oh, can we just talk about that for a second? Do you probably jumped I, no, I off did. your bed when you saw the Dilophosaurus in that trailer? Nathan, I've been waiting 28 years. We're we're talking about Jurassic Park, just so in case anyone's wondering. The Dilophosaurus, it's has that been one. updated? And also, like, that was not digital. That's a practical it's dummy practical, right there. And it's injured. Part yeah. of its frill is missing. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's full-sized. Oh, my God. Okay, one of these days I have to get into, like, a Jurassic Park episode. Yeah, we gotta, like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's yeah. going to be good fun. Yeah. Dilophosaurus so, are supposed to be bigger than... The raptors in that. Dilophosaurus are supposed to be like 14 foot tall. They're huge. Really? Yeah. That, wow. that one in the first movie is an infant. Well. Less seamless and pointless. Conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I flipped out when you saw the trailer. Though. Okay. But, um, so this, there's this one like little thing. Sylvia. Uh, we'll get to her. It's this We guy were in the first. middle of talking about it. Okay. All right. Talk about it. So actually, we're talking about the Delaval Star. Yeah, it yeah. into. <laughs> actually, I led that conversation. No, the fuck you didn't. Yeah, you I said, talk- let's talk about that. Marissa. No, you were... T- okay, we literally have it on tape. You were talking about the fucking... Uh, who you didn't even know was the bartender. Okay, okay. And then I say that we find him in our next kill. Binch. You can yeah, you're real. <laughs> but um, so they're like they're they're the first ones to kind of break apart from the group. They go to like I don't know, do straight people stuff, and um, yeah, the, everybody knows the odd just have sex right there and then. Yeah, while everybody watches yeah. and pees all over them. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, personally, Bukaki, I don't think I'd do it. It's Valentine's piss Day. Piss play, though. It's Valentine's Day. Let's do piss play. <laughs> <laughs> everybody joined in, you know. But um. <laughs> I've been holding it in all day for this one moment. My Valentine's gay orgy. You know. <laughs> um, my bloody Valentine anima. Whatever. But, um... It was so, funny the first time, the rest of the time it died. Move on. <laughs> then why are you laughing? Oh. Uh, why are you gagging so? Triggered. So they, like, break away, and she's, like, she's adorable. She's, like, five feet shorter than him and everything. And they're oh, kind of he like, is a mountain. He's huge. He's like, he's the one, like, everybody in this is easily categorizable by, like, he's the tall ginger one. Categorized. That's, that's not what I said. Categorized? Nathan, are you about to sit here and correct my grammar? <laughs> yeah, because it's shit. Because shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, like, that's the same response as no you. you know? Well... Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my hood. Go, go, you go. <laughs> it's, like, it's such an Avril Lavigne movie. But, um, so they're like making out and he's like, you know, make this so much better. A couple of beers, eh? And then they she's say, like, they say gear. They yeah. say gear. If you live in Ireland and you say the word, let's, let's go find some gear, you know exactly what it is. These Canadians call beer gear. I was legit looking at it going like, is he about to go fucking find yeah, a bag of coke get, or something? Yeah, about to go and get like a belt. <laughs> <over Yeah. around laughs> but, um, These meth addicts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he like goes away or whatever like that. And I, I, I remembered him dying kind of falsely like from when I watched this last movie. Yeah. He like totally doesn't. He's actually the... He's the one who finds them. Yeah, he's the one that like lets every, like alerts everybody to yeah. the thing. But um, Harry Warden. Yeah, and again, everybody thinks Harry Warden's here and stuff mm. like that. Like, he, up until literally the very end, we're supposed to think it's Harry Warden. And I do want to just point out before we get to her death, the location actually does match up. There's never a time where they cheat. Like, the killer yeah. is actually never... Like, he yeah. always is out of frame. Like, they never kind of, like, fuck around with it. I think, like, I like when movies do that. But, um they're like having sex or they're like about to have sex and stuff like that and she's she's so into it even when he leaves she's like hmm she's like yeah, feeling she herself up. <laughs> and she's looking up and this is an actual thing that like um 
like does happen in mines uh, the miners like hang their stoops up really high and yeah, it's yeah. filmed all in a real mine uh, you can tell the director's cousin or some shit like owned a mine they had yeah, it for yeah, like yeah. a week or whatever they're like <laughs> right let's make a movie and um they all start to kind of like fall from the ceiling and I think this is effectively creepy it is like this movie is like it's a it's not as cheesy as Friday the 13th you know it's played a little straighter there's not many jokes or stuff like that yeah I think some of the laughs in it are unintentional but um, she's like running around. She's just doing that like horror movie trope thing where she's just running around screaming no. Yeah. <laughs> she's just no, mindlessly no, running no, from no. one suit to the next. Also, you know where you're going. Just leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right over there. You know? But um. Oh, yeah. she runs right body into. Just falls yeah. Out. The body falls down from the ceiling. The body of the barkeeper. I, I think it's so good. It's so so good. It's a great reveal. And actually, to be fair, they did a lot more work. Um like on this body the second time around than they did when it, 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 it like his eye popped out when he got murdered yeah uh, they did a lot more work his like whole like this I can imagine like the way uh, he took out the axe he pulled part of his face off with it yeah because like the jaw is like broken so, open like, at the bottom yeah. and like he didn't just like pull it downwards he pulled like, out like out. that yeah. I loved that I thought it's such good work Mwah. beautiful kisses to so that good you and know like, us we're definitely into like the real gore and you could feel that like oh that jaw is just like fucking like, uh, predator face you know yeah, what I'm saying the yeah full Guillermo del Toro vampire yeah. yeah yeah now this is the scene I skipped to to make <clears> sure <throat> I was watching the uncut version because this is the one that was uh, I think uh, cut the most that we still like get to keep yeah um because in the theatrical cut we don't actually get to see like kind of what happens to her we get to see her picked up by the head which again to me was red herring because yeah. her boyfriend had picked her up by the head earlier and um, my mom used to do that when i was a kid <laughs> <laughs> but um, could have easily broken your neck doing that i know you grab onto her arms and stuff you know but um <laughs> Ah, head, you know? Oh my god! But um, <laughs> no, for a farmy a short enough person, I'll do it. Oh but, my, um, no, just no. Whatever. But she gets picked up and kind of like slammed onto the, the like the shower. They're in the shower room, and the shower heads in this. There is no shower heads. It's just a pipe, like cut raw at the end. Which yeah, is gross. He just picks her up and just shoves her head onto it. I half expected. <sighs> In this scene, uh, when that do happens, you think this Canadian like production could afford a Wilhelm screen. Yes, this they're Canadian. Was, this movie was probably made for like ten grand. <laughs> but I do. I gotta give it where it's due. This this prop head, the way the pipe seemed to kind of like slide in through the back of her skull, it's great. was so good. Yeah, I I even messaged you. I think I met. What did I say to you on the message when that happened? Uh, like, uh, <clears throat> where is this? Uh, uh, God, where's the good idea? Yeah, I, I, I can find it. I can find it. You keep going. Yeah, no, sure. We totally have time. Oh yeah, like Lady on the Shower Pipe and Maybell's is the best kill. And I go, yeah, full penetration. <laughs> I also think this is the death that people associate with this movie. Like I think it's on some of the covers and stuff like that. Yeah. But um when her boyfriend comes in and finds her, it's so funny. But like it is shocking because he comes in and he kinda he turns to her and like doesn't realise that she's dead at first because yeah. she was just kinda there. But he's just kind of like looking her shower. up and down. Yeah, and then he does the like he just grabs the side of his head and basically does the same thing she does. It's just yeah. like, no, no. <laughs> but not only was she shoved onto the pipe, she was shoved onto the pipe and then it was turned on. So she yeah. is a, like like a Bjork lyric, a fountain of blood in the shape of a girl. Um, it's so good though. It's such a good death. Yeah. Also, it, like I think it helps that she's like, because she's like so short, it looks like she's just like really high up off the ground. It seems like yeah. a lot more effective. But um, fuck it's, me, it's such a good kill. Yeah, it really is. Like that and Anne Maybell's death are definitely the best kills for sure. Actually, come to think of it, there's another death who um I thought was just really funny. Um, was how quickly this guy who uh, like the guy who snorted coke. What? It was the guy who snorted coke. Like actual Coca Cola. <laughs> oh yeah. 
<laughs> no, there's a guy who um he's basically just like, oh, I've got to get the fuck out of this town, and um, because it was so so Canadian, hey, <laughs> um, it's just it's like he goes. Um, besides, I want to get out of this town. I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here, and like I just imagine him saying lickety split because like it was just so so. I <laughs> like like I just imagine him doing a pirouette. <laughs> like into a cold bowl of water with hot dogs in it so this guy oh my god boiled hot dogs in this boiled movie. hot dogs just gross it was this scene where like I think he was like picking up a hot dog or something like he was going to eat it or something but basically the miner shoves his head down into the and you can tell that we the water is it. cold water it's not it's not moving it's no. not moving it's not yeah. bubbling there's nothing happening well, we get to see his face POV from the bottom of the pot where yeah. the skin is like gradually getting more and more like pulled away yeah and then it, they, we find his head later I think one of the girls finds his head later and oh he's in the first, fridge first they find his heart his boiled oh, grey yeah. fleshy gross. heart gross which is so obviously like a cow's heart it's huge yeah like, it's, it like it's bigger like than her fist, fist. yeah, yeah it's, it's huge but they pull it out and they're like hmm, what's this oh no anyway I better put it back in our food <laughs> People... They were just like, oh, this is just another one of those jokes from the boys. No, it's fucking gross. Like, <laughs> it's the thing that gets me where I'm like, steam the hot dogs or fry the hot dogs. Yeah. Don't boil the hot dogs, bro. But don't you eat coddle? And is, is that essentially the same thing? But it's not just boiled sausages. Well, I suppose. Like yeah. it's boiled in, it's, 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 you know? Yeah. It's a soup. Where's Sabrina? I will sue the bitch. <laughs> this scene was just so shoddy and like it felt like because it didn't add anything and also this character didn't have any part in the story at all know, it was just fodder. some random yeah he's just cannon fodder he was titan fodder he was just literally this this guy who was at the party and he happened to get you know get gone yeah basically and you have to with a cast this big yeah I think there was like probably like 15 almost 20 people here and everybody's yeah. in a couple you know, except for one guy, this one guy, what's his fucking name again? It's actually very hard to keep track of everybody's name. Because everybody There's a is lot like, of people. Exactly. Like, everybody is visually, like, standout-ish from each other. But, yeah. um, what the fuck is, Howard, um, his kill, his death is fucking great at the end. Yeah. They're all, and I almost don't get it, why they climb back down afterwards. Like just, yeah. just climb and escape. Oh yeah, that's the note I have. That was another great kill. Was they get like he was up. hung, then he was dropped, and at the point of the his the rope tension, his, his rip, apart. they but just at, snap like, in half and at, break like, off. At, like the collarbone. I love it. Like it's not a decapitation. Oh, it's like, it's, he, it's like um from the sternum up. Yeah, it's ripped, but like at an angle, and it just he just splits. I oh, love it. So good, and then the body falls in the way it just <laughs> like. The way it just smacks them yeah. at the end. It looks like a real body. Oh, it's that's, so good. That's one thing I do want to give them. It's like a lot of times in movies, you can tell that like the the, the body that they're picking up weighs nothing. But it's yeah. like all the bodies in this like have weight to them. Like yeah. they seem real. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so violent. But I'm like, I, I don't get where the the miner was like coming from. Though. Like where, like did the miner like place him there and he kind of fell out of place and then dislodged that way or was Set he like dressing. or was he like thrown no I know but I'm like it like I'm I was thinking Axel that thrown as well behind yeah behind them but he's the first one to go missing mm -hmm. so I'm thinking he was up there stashed away and then fell out that way because he was already dead mm -hmm. he didn't die that way you know but um they're all climbing and fucking hell Hollis's girlfriend it's like oh god she's such a pussy oh fuck. my god you know what? there's several times along this like 2000 foot ladder that she just like has a breakdown like five or six mental breakdowns on the way up this fucking ladder and she just stops then your man like happens to happen just so happens to land in front of her Jeez, and then like thrown at her and then <laughs> and then like she's just like I wanna get down I wanna get down they just spent 25 minutes like climbing this fucking thing <laughs> so, two I, like that's the thing I think they kind of throw in 2,000 feet as if they're like <gasps> like that's nothing 2,000 yeah. feet is really far like, yeah it's, like, it's really said, that's down said, there like 200 feet or something like that I'd be like, like that's doable, that's readable. that's deeper than the Paris catacombs it's huge it's yeah. huge like you would expect a mine to be like maybe deepest about 500 feet deepest yeah 
Because coal doesn't eat do, coal itself does not fucking I was about to say grow like it's a fucking mushroom, but like coal does not need that amount of pressure from the earth above it. Just to create a little it. space. It's a little space. Like just let it cool out in the dark, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> but like under pressure, <laughs> pressure makes yeah. diamonds, but it also makes rubble. Um, so yeah, it's just like to me, two thousand feet is really excessive really really excessive like it seems like pits of hell like yeah like the middle of the earth kind of shit journey to the center of the earth is like two thousand feet yeah down. yeah but um this one of the last kind of things that i i had kind of like a big thing about was the cinematographer rodney gibbons i love it i i did appreciate it but like again for a film that was like again it was probably it was just borderline 70s really to the to the to the you know the beginning of the 80s like 80 and 81 literally the line 70s 70s, yeah i would totally agree but the the thing about it is that uh, like how do i explain it it's just like you were saying earlier like there's the feels dirty the film yeah and like it just like also everybody is it's super dirty. super dark yeah. when it's when it's only meant to only be slightly dark if it's the nighttime like everything else but the character is in black and they Do you actually know what I mean? couldn't have done anything about that they weren't actually allowed to put more lighting down there of course because like methane gases all the kind of stuff they weren't yeah. allowed to like kind of like risk that and have like a a real life Harry Warden situation kind of happen. Mm-hmm. I think it really adds to it though. Like uh, it's weird. All the blacks in this are very, very, very black. Mm-hmm. Like everything is really dip or dip deep and rich and stuff. You know, Ooh, there's the Canadian eh? dip. But um, <laughs> no, seriously, I think this movie. Like again, I think that's why I kind of get Jaws vibes from it because it's kind of coastal. It's um kind of cozy. The kind of look of everything is mm-hmm. very, very late seventies. You know, like we always consider The Shining like a 70s movie even though it really isn't it's it's 1980 you know, yeah but it's like made 79 yeah technically but um yeah for real i also don't think we mentioned the fact that this was made by paramount pictures who at the time had already begun to make the friday the 13th movies yes you know and they they planned this as a one and done like there was no plan for a sequel uh even though they kind of they kind of leave it open at the end for yeah. a sequel even though i don't know how intimidating a one-armed minor is but, um, <laughs> <laughs> who like sings as he escapes into the mine <laughs> see i almost get that he would have bled out and died because he's yeah, he also still have. he's also still caved in and I was he's not superhuman you, he's just mentally deranged yeah <laughs> and he's, he's lost an arm he's oh he's got an arm off i quote that's the one quote even more so than you've got red on you yeah that i use all the fucking time <laughs> Mary, just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shade. <laughs> I fucking love Oh, my that. God. Oh. No, no we just key. gave away the last table. <laughs> low key, though, Shaun of the Dead has a fucking lit soundtrack. It really does. It's so underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's what that's like. Oh, God. The zombie nation and shit in the opening. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, anyway. But yeah, so this was kind of like um, a, weird, not really a competitor for Friday the Thirteenth. Um, like I know I've brought Friday up a bunch of times in this, but to me this is a direct. Um, I don't think like Black Christmas I get is credited with the kind of holiday slasher, mm-hmm. but like I think Friday the Thirteenth made like holiday like actual slashers a thing. Yeah, you know I don't think people were or like Halloween I guess too, but I feel like Halloween comes out of Black Christmas and da 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 da. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would like Friday if it was more like this, you know, a little bit more character if people weren't so, um, so generic. Yeah. That's my problem with the Friday the movies that they're all so generic. They all kind of do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we don't get any continuation or any kind of anything about this story until 2009 nice you know and i i don't like the 2009 movie it it it, it looks kind of cool because it was it was during that 3d craze so it, like it most of like, it was shot to it's before avatar i know but it was um deal. it was meant to be like some of it was shot as like it coming through and you know the axe and yeah. all that kind of thing you know it was one of those that was shot in 3d mm. but <laughs> Because it was like one of the first to come out, I feel like Avatar was the one that made all cinemas like spend the money and get three D projectors. 
But like there were so many showings of this that just weren't shown in 3D. Because <laughs> yeah. people were like, oh, fuck, I'm not fucking spending a million quid to get this projector going for this shitty little movie. Yeah. You know, and the movie is shitty. It's bad. It, it is um, pretty shitty. It's it's like my complaint. It's just very generic, you know. But um, I fucking loved this movie. I did too. I had a good time. I actually come to think of it the one thing that I really thought was kind of scary because it sort of like made me think about it a little bit was the you actually did make me jump there slightly Um, was the fact that quote unquote Axel had fallen into that like 60 foot deep well of water and to me that is terrifying 2060 feet down below the earth (laughs) (laughs) it was that was that that is scary that is really scary they just and they just leave him and they can still see the light the the, the hat's light and they're just like he's down there he's down there but like uh, no we can't but I would also look at it and go yeah he is gone I would not I'd be like he's not coming back but people don't she is buried 60 60 feet under she is not coming back people don't just sink (laughs) like people are not made of yeah that's true filled with air but like, I would like, have at least tried to help my friend. Yeah, true. Or, or but at it's that still point, scary, my though. boyfriend. I would have, like a 60-foot right right well of water. That's scary. You know, it's scary. scary, but I also wouldn't have just gone, well. <laughs> it's that, it's that um, clip of when B- uh, Destiny's Child are performing on BET, and they're all walking forward. Michelle falls down. Yeah. And Kelly and Beyonce just keep walking. Leave <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it behind. It is, it is weak. It was weak. Weak sauce. But uh, seriously... Um, this ending where the reveal see this is where the reveal did confuse me because I was like I was so convinced oh, all that head. the guy uh, yeah the, he the, doesn't tell them <laughs> he just freezes for a while and stands there while we see his backstory <laughs> It's just a flashback that only he can see oh my god it was so funny it was basically oh god how do I describe it it was it was hokey pokey <laughs> It was honky honky tonky wonky. It was PTSD, except the T stands for the mind. <laughs> <laughs> PTSMD. <laughs> it was it was so honky tonky hokey pokey ooky skooky it was it makes no sense it doesn't it really no, no, doesn't it makes sense why he would be pissed okay so basically he Axel is the son of one of the men that that uh, were murdered made, that, yeah that were murdered at the start that were responsible for the mind blowing up mm. um, and he was under the bed while his dad was just getting dressed for the Valentine's Day dance and yeah. he was just under the bed um, and sees his dad get, to, get his like heart ripped out and shit like that but the reveal is he pulls off the mask it zooms up into his face we see this flashback and then the mind caves in so like Sarah and TJ are just like why did he stand there for a few minutes and not do anything um, and then at the end yeah he literally like skips to Malou you know he no <laughs> hold on we, we gotta say like she does go back to try and help him which is so uh, fucking stupid. Which is stupid. But he is like literally on the other side of that rock. Death grip. Oh my god, like fully like uh, what's up. what's 127 that film? One hundred and twenty seven hours. hours. <laughs> like full on like chopping his arm off. And weirdly enough, um as he's like pulling his arm away, her, his hand it's is like grabbing still grabbing her. her. And I'm just like, Oh my god, it's gross. If you watch 127 hours backwards, it's about a, it's about a paraplegic who finds an arm in the desert. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it now! Or if you watch Cinderella in reverse, it's about a, a woman who learns her place. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, that, that scene always kind of gets me, where it's just like he's gripping onto her thing, but he's, he's in the of cutting it off. And then just, I love the reveal though of her just like pulling it out, and there's an arm yeah. with it. Oh, Mr. Arnold! <laughs> 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 And then he just like ha 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 like he literally he just like, disappears into the background. And then at <laughs> the end of it, there's never any continuation on of this movie. And now you have for it. give me the theory. You have a theory about how you could continue on this film. My give it a franchise. Is, okay, to so my thing is, I think it's such a waste to set up and talk about Harry Warden so much and just never ever bring. Him yeah, there's no in. payoff to it. He but just also, he died he, like what was it five years prior not, to this happening? But it's that's not confirmed. 
No, he did. They no, said that goes, in the film. No, they go, he's either on the slab, missing, or we never had him in here. Yeah, well, she chain smokes a massive cigar. <laughs> but, exactly, but I'm like, those are the three options. So I'm like, still at the end of this, Harry Warden, like, I, I didn't see a body. I didn't yeah. see an attack. I, there was no, if they if they went to Harry Warden's grave and dug it up and there was a body in there, I still wouldn't even be like, yeah, it's Harry Warden. Yeah, okay, but like, how are you going to continue with it? How like, did where Freddy is that going to go? Come back a million fucking times. How yeah, did but, Jason come back? Yeah, but you see, that's weak sauce to me. That's such weak sauce. Mm-mm. Um. Okay. Oh, fucking good shit. <laughs> weak sauce. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I think. But that's the thing. I don't think it would have to be supernatural. You just make it so that he, like, never died because he kind of didn't. It's like it's not like confirmed by movie rules. He is still alive. You know, you make it so that Harry Warden comes back in the next movie and is actually like the hero or something, you know, because he, I no, because he went crazy because he was trapped in that mine. Are you victim blaming? To, I'm, no, I'm not victim blaming at all. <laughs> I'm saying um, he kind of was a victim because he was in that mine because of the uh, irresponsibility of others. Uh-huh. And he only ate those people because he was trapped in there. In the remake, they make it so that he kills people to preserve oxygen, but he only eats those bodies to survive because he was in there for over a month. <laughs> he was in there for oh, no, no, actually, like, wrong allegory, but like six weeks is a long, long fucking time. Yeah. So I think he like went insane down there. I don't think he was insane, and then went in the mind because we never have any indication that he did any of this shit before. Say cannibalist again. Crack. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! He looks like the fourteenth of February. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't like know. the fourth of July. I think they could have very easily brought Harry Warden back and had him be like a a, a better character or something in the next movie because they set him up so much in this movie. They do. It's it's a lot of setup, no payoff. Exactly. He's a like you're a non motherfucking factor, bitch. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I think they should have brought him back uh, if anything was going to happen. But um. I don't know. I like a one and done uh, kind of movie, though, where it's just like open and close. Well, like, there's no hope for anything. Although I won't be investing. I, I shan't. <laughs> I th- I think no. <laughs> one and done. Leave it at this. Just let it let it dead. Let lay, or, lay it, leave it dead. Or Halloween 2018. This shit and make a fucking sequel now. You know that shit could be cool as fuck. Yeah, I suppose you could. Forty but years after, you know. Again, that's a relying. That's relying a lot on people's patience for this kind of movie you know what I'm saying what the fuck do you mean scream beat out like a slasher scream beat out uh, Spider-Man No Way Home yeah cause Spider-Man was out for like five weeks before that and it was like the biggest fucking thing Scream made like a hundred million dollars which is massive I'm yeah and Spider-Man's on his way to making a, a billion slasher. but this is a slasher movie yeah fair enough. you know that's a huge franchise oh so look at that though that Spider-Man is like the 15th sequel in the fucking Marvel universe, and people still eat it up. I think like things like this is what I was saying last week or uh, on our episode for remakes and stuff like that was um or was that the week before? Is a week before. Is that you pick something like this that isn't a beloved classic, and do something else with it, a la Fright Night or something like that, where there isn't the huge attachment. You know, you don't remake Jaws. You do something like this. Mm. You know, or something that's kind of obscure because this is like I think like. B or C list horror. Oh, this is definitely a B movie for sure. Like you might recognize, like you've probably heard of the sequel or the the remake and stuff, but like I know a lot of people kind of didn't know that the remake was a remake. A remake of a remake. You know, I, and it. then I was actually listening to a couple of podcasts just in the last uh, couple of weeks, just because it's nearly Valentine's Day, where people kind of thought or kind of like falsely remembered that there was extra sequels in between. You know, because mm. the first one just it just set up a sequel so well, but um, yeah. That was my bloody Valentine. Yeah, nineteen eighty one. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so we have next week Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's just those three words. Yeah. <laughs> twenty twenty two. But it was made in twenty twenty. Yes. I'm I and have no thoughts just yet. So the only thing I have the idea this never bodes well is the studio never bothered putting it out. They sold the film to Netflix to to release, which is it's fine to me. I mean, you're still going to make a profit off of it, yeah, sure. But 
it never bodes well if they're really not arse doing something like that i don't know i mean they've pro- been promoing it for like the last like year or something and... yeah but the promo stuff has only been an image or two the trailer we didn't get until like a month ago yeah which i think is fine again like i think they showed just enough where i'm like okay a new one is happening mm-hmm. you know and like i've said it before even the shittiest texas chains i still like because they're they're trashy they're shitty they're trashy and, yeah you know the exploitation it's yeah. you know granddaddy of horror or granddaddy of slashers at least i think yeah for sure you know or like the modern slasher i think like texas chainsaw is the bridge between like black christmas or like a psycho and halloween do we have a prediction of how it's going to end because sally harvesty is in this film i mean not the original actress but like sally harvesty yeah, r.i.p marla burns and she is in it and she's very much taking on the role oh because of... she has long gray hair jamie lee curtis did not invent gray wigs no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the theme of like i've been waiting for how many years to do this like i think it's sort of cockpitting off of that i don't know we'll see i have no predictions honestly. i have no expectations so he won't be let down but it's leatherface as the main character it's leatherface with no family Mm-hmm. which is what i've been asking for for like years and years is like just main make leatherface the main character make yeah. him the main villain mm-hmm. you know and um, didn't they do that with the other one that texas um, chainsaw 3d yeah didn't they do that where he was just on his own living underground or some shit yeah he was living know, with he was living shit. with the grandmother of the sawyers uh played by marlon burns at the time her last uh-huh. role before she died uh-huh. um and then alexandria daddario plays his cousin who shows up? I actually kind of like that movie because it's lame. But like this line, that she throws his chance out to him, and she goes, "Do you think, cuz?" Oh my god! I know. Jesus <laughs> Christ! I actually think I might watch that because I think it's on Netflix. Dude, it's shitty. It's fun. Like, it's very but, camp. like, it's just so. Oh, it's so stupid. It's campy as fuck. I'm. I'll. I'll give it a watch. I'll give it a watch. I think I watched like the first twenty minutes of it, and then I gave up. I uh, like you know standards, I guess. But yeah so next week is texas chainsaw uh-huh. and then the following week will be the slab yeah. oh i think that she's still undecided she's still undecided she is um we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna probe a few topics and uh we'll get back to you on them you gotta literally run yeah so <laughs> goodbye God, that was such an evil laugh that was <laughs> goodbye goodbye Sorry. Uh, make sure to like subscribe let us know what you think in the comments below and follow us on instagram for some daily updated content bitch you really want to miss this train don't you <laughs> yeah all right bye, bye.